Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. I am Broccoli and today we are diving into an exciting project, creating a blog website using a Django. By the end of this video, you will have a full functional blog website. Before we start, let's talk a little bit about a Django. Django is a high level web framework that encourages the rapid development, clean and pragmatic design. It's free and open source. It follows the don't repeat yourself principle, making the development faster and more efficient. Some key features about a Django is its ORM, Object Relational Mapping which allows us to interact with the database using a Python code. And it's a powerful admin interface that emphasizes on a security that providing a built-in protection against vulnerabilities. So without wasting your time, let's begin it. So you in the on the screen, you are saying that this is a, a blog website and we will customize this website and connect with the Django frameworks. We will cover every section that we are needed to. Just like we will also cover this category based page and we are also going to deal with the detail page, comment sections, and the sidebars. Everything that is required for this blog, we will cover it on this video. So now I am opening my VS Code. So right here, I already opened my VS Code. And here we will create our Django project. So for that, Django admin start project blog. So we are seeing here the error. So first we need to create the virtual env and on that virtual environment we will create our project. It's our best practice for doing any types of project. Because at the end when we are going to deploy our project, virtual environment will help us a lot. We don't need to install everything that we required on the server while deploying our project. So first we are going to make the virtual env python smvnp and env. So it's creating, it's take a few minutes. Yeah, it's done now. So we need to activate this environment. So for it, uh, activate. So now it is already activated. So on this, I will install the Django. So now we are going to create our project. So for it, uh, let's get now Sango admin start project uh, let's start the blog so you are seeing here our first blog project has been started so first we need to create the app now again i'm getting an app my python minus dot py start app let's uh name it Okay, we have done it. So we have seen here, we have already created this. On blog section, we are going to change everything. All the settings are available here. So I will show you all the process and what's the use of this, all the things. What else? Apps.py, admin.py, test, views.py, my.py. What, what even the use of it, we are seeing on this video. So first we need to connect with that. We have installed the home. So we can going to install here. We have named it home here. And also we have to include the path. So we are going to include our home path here. Path. Hold. Home dot. Home dot URLs. So we define it here. So let's copy it. And on this home. Make one new file called urs.py and this we need to indicate all the URLs that we needed to start our project. So first back here def index request on http files. So this is our first page. We are just checking it, and we're defining the path here. So let's rough it. We also don't need this. 
this we need to modify it so from here uh but that's name it index and we also need to put our views we have already imported here let's check it by by run server oh ho, we are getting the errors saying this error is coming from here home dot is we have included the capital home and we have already done it in a small form that's why i think the error is showing let's try it again i hope this is working now let's check it so we are seeing here this is our first page we are connected the app with the project so for uploading our templates we need to create the template folder here this is our templates folders and also we need to create the static folder so on templates we will uh, copy all the html files and on the statics we need to cover all the css and JSX files so let's copy it here we need to cover all this index.html on our base So let's paste it. Yeah, we have it there. And again, it is our CSS and this is file. Let's copy it here. And I guess uh, paste there. Okay, now it's done with that. Let's first we need to create a base.html file. Base.html file helps to uh, cover all the things that are same on every page. Here in every page, we are seeing that. This nav bar and the footer is nearly same. So we will copy the code of nav bar and footer bar in a paste.html so that it will cover and render all the pages that we require there. So first we need to create a paste.html file. So I am creating here paste.html file and on the index sections we are just copying the head and the footer path. And here is our head sections. Okay, from here. We'll cover everything. Ditch, stitch, and here we'll define box header. Okay. Now again, this header function will be cover. So we will block header. We will put this file on the block header section. Just copy it. But it is the ending of header. So this is the file. It will cover the header file. Now this is the starting of the body part. So after that, body part, all the body sections will be available here. Okay. I made it. Now let's bring the channel on the footer path. Okay, from here we are seeing that it is a footer path. So let's copy it. And cut this all files. I need to paste here. Okay, we have done that with the paste.html files. I'll check it the index.html files. So here's our index.html files. So first we extend our html file. Let's also load the statics file. Okay, we have done with that. Okay, from here I think this is the body sections. So put it on the block sections of the body. Just cut it. Testing this all on the body part. Uh, okay, we have done with that. Okay, now let's test this first testable page by reading this URLs. Okay, and here we let define the this render our HTML type render dot HTMLs, and we also need to change on the setting part so on the settings we need to define the templates templates and the statics file thank you we don't need to remember all the code because all the documentations and the quotes are already defined on the documentation part so just click it and do it Here, just copy it and here we need to paste here we don't require this line so just remove it just copy it and 
need to post paste on this section okay we have done with that it's now it's time to check it so first we need to run the server on server okay is we are seeing that some error so we just first make the migration by the manager.py migrate okay everything is migrated uh python minus dot py let's start a server okay server is started our in eight eight thousand port okay we are saying this zero template does not exist okay we have made the mistake here we have missed the s product is not rendering now let's open it and again refresh it well now we are saying this is the render all the files and this our html this our css and javascript files are not connected so we need to connect host it let's connect this file go there and connect these files so let's write everything here let's hit this chat tick this Okay, again just click alt and select to the help of mouse also need to connect a css file and here is the css file select all the with the help of alt and also need to here okay so we have done with that as css and css file let's again check it let's face it okay we will see now the error okay let's check it oh boy on this section we have not load our statics file so let's load it load is static okay let's check it now again again checking it so here you can see that we are successfully render the template files on our Django server. So this is for today and we will continue this video and we will upload all this blog project on our GitHub. So you are also getting all the sources code there. But I will also uh, put the, the this template link on our description so you can easily go and download and practice in your PC too. If you are facing any types of problems uh, while doing this project, you just comment on the sections. I will reply it so this is for today thanks for watching the video